Welcome back. Zimbabwe's finance minister says his country's economy requires a fresh capital injection and policy intervention. Presenting the country's 2015 budget, Finance Minister Patrick Chinamasa said since 2011, more than 4,500 companies closed and 55,000 people have lost their jobs. He blamed the sluggish growth on the cash crunch, depressed mining and agricultural demand, as well as low foreign investment. Zimbabwe's finance minister, Patrick Chinamasa, unveiled his 2015 budget, painting a gloomy picture of the year ahead at 4.1 billion US dollars. The budget remains on the same level as the previous year. $3.2 billion, or 81% of the total expenditures, will go to paying government wages, leaving a balance of $798 million for operations, debt servicing, and capital development programs. The proposed allocation for the capital budget are $341 million, while for operations and maintenance is $384 million. What this means, Mr. Speaker says, basically, we are paying people to sit in their offices and not to undertake the operations. Following years of economic isolation over its controversial policies and poor debt repayment, the country is now on track to restoring its borrowing rights with global lenders, as well as direct financial relations with the European Union. But the country's indigenization policy, forcing foreign firms to cede a 51% stake to locals, has investors spooked. Chinamasa has called for urgency in clarifying the policy changes, hinting that the law will be applied liberally to encourage foreign investment. The period necessary for compliance with the law will be a matter for negotiation between the would-be investor and the respective relevant line ministry responsible for the particular sector and subsector. The indigenization plan will take into account the circumstances prevailing in the subject. Reactions to the budget have been varied. He has in fact reduced the tax-free threshold, so there's no way he's going to meet the revenue target. Don't protect an economy where people are not producing. So there's so much protectionism, but who's producing? It is supposed to transform the lives of the people. And the sad reality with this budget is that it will not transform the lives of the people. Can you imagine 20 ministries relying on 300 million US dollars? But there's good news for platinum miners. The government has deferred its raw platinum export tax to January 2017 to allow Impala Platinum subsidiary Zimplats to commission its local base metal refinery plant. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.